Okay, video number 15 of the How to Wire Schneider PLC series. We are still working on the Modicon M221 family. And today we're going to be looking at analog voltage outputs using a cartridge expansion on these ones. Cartridge expansions are a fantastic uh, little thing that is available on the C or the CE line of these. What it is, is it is a removable front face. You pop this thing out with a screwdriver over here. It's a complete plastic cover. Once you've got that removed, you take your cartridge, which you have bought, you plug that thing directly in. It connects onto the back plane of the PLC and you press it until the thing clicks. At that point, you have got a expansion that is going to be mounted. It doesn't take up any more room on your DIN rail or you don't have to slide anything down inside your control cabinets or anything like that. It's a small number of expansions uh, that we're going to have per each of these, but sometimes that's all you need is one or two. So the one that we're going to be looking at today is going to be one that gives us a voltage output, and it's going to be 0 to 10 volts DC that we are going to go and have out there. We do need to put it to a sufficiently high impedance load, something that's going to be 2 kilo ohms or greater, so that it is not going to load this thing down too much. And we see that it takes a total of 12 bits. It's got 4,096 steps and it starts out with a small voltage at 2.44 millivolts. That's the smallest voltage that it's going to be able to change at a time. What this allows us to do is we take all of those steps, the 4,096 steps, we can convert them to raw data or raw numbering inside of our PLCs, which goes from negative 32,768 to positive 32,767. So we can scale that out and use this 0 to 10 volt to drive other analog devices that we have out in the field, you know, signals to PLCs, to lighting controls, all sorts of different stuff. The actual connection that happens for these ones is going to go and have three terminals. Now there's going to be two terminals here that we are going to not use and they have got NC on them, which looks confusing because a lot of times this gets misinterpreted as normally closed, but this equals no connection. In other words, you're not supposed to put any wires underneath them. So the NC is going to get ignored. The actual 0 to 10 volt that we are going to have is going to tie to the other two. AQ, Q being an output, Q0 is going to be my positive out. Q1 would be my positive out on the other one. Both of them go to ground, and we do see that both of them show the symbol here for a shielded style of cable. All right. Let's go and hook one up. Over here, we have got our Schneider TM221CE16T. We see that we have mounted in this cartridge over here, the TMC2AQ2V, which is going to give me a 0 to 10 volts output. And if we zoom in and take a look at the actual cartridge, we see that the actual uh, out, our numbers on here are the same as what we had on the diagram. We see the NC for no connection, no connection. We see we've got the ground at the center, and we see we've got the actual voltage output on the far left of each of these two sets over here. So over here we have got a voltage um, or an actual 0 to 10 volt that we're sending out to a field device. Somewhere out there there's a field device that needs that. We're going to start by dealing with my shielding that I'm going to go and have. And the shielding and the grounding are the first thing that we're going to tie down. Shield gets tied down at the source end. The ground gets tied down as well if the cable has it. Not every cable has a ground inside of it. Some do, some don't. If it has it, you tie the ground down. Now we've just left with our positive and negative. We're going to use blue, which is the European standard color for a negative, just because it's going to show up better on here. We're going to take that blue over, and we are going to run that into the ground terminal. Tighten that thing down. Then what we would do is we would go and take our positive, and we would run that all the way up and over to my AQ0V. And at this point, we have got a full 0 to 10 volt device connected. At times you might have where you have got two different field devices. You've got a current sensitive device. You've got a voltage sensitive device. The voltage one here, we can connect in, but the current one, we could not go and directly connect across to there. There's going to be problems if we would go and do that. So what we're going to need to do is use one of these, which is going to go and be a converter over here. And converters simply do exactly that. They allow us to go and take a signal from one spot. So over here, I've got my PLC that is going to go and be supplying a voltage. I'll take that voltage into this converter and then that converter will go and convert that thing to a current signal that is going to be able to go and send that back out. 0 to 10 volt directly to 4 to 20 milliamp. This specific model here doesn't do 0 to 20 milliamp. You'd have to get a different model for that, but you can look up the Harmony analog converters if you want to go and see more. Uh, the actual wiring that is going to go and happen on these is also pretty straightforward. We'll just zoom in a little bit over here. Up top, we see that we take positive and negative in. It's a 24 volt 
bed device. So we see we got our DC power supply running through a DIN rail fuse holder over here, powering this unit up. And then down here on the bottom side, we have got two sets of terminals. The first set of terminals that we see, oops, uh, sorry, I clicked out of that one there. First set of terminals that we see over here has got I's next to it. The second one has got O's. The O's are going to be the output. So this is what's going to feed out. The I's are going to be my input. In other words, we're going to take my PLC. We are going to go and take my PLC voltage, feed it into a input, and then we'll be able to take a current output to my device. PG stands for protective ground or protective earth or shield or drain or negative, whichever you prefer to go and think of for these ones, but it's going to be the negative signal on that. The I input would be a current input. The V input would be a voltage input. And then over here on my output, we're going to go and have a negative. That's going to be the PG that we'll connect in. And then we're going to either have volts out or current out that we could go and run with. Let's make some actual connections. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this 4 to 20 milliamp device. We're going to go and connect in all of its ground and drain shield so that all of that is tied in. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and take my voltage from here and we're going to feed it into the input side. So I connect my ground to my PG over here and then I'm going to take my voltage out of my PLC card here and I'm going to put that into the input side over here. So now we're feeding voltage into the analog to analog converter. It is now going to convert that and allow us to take voltage back out or sorry take current back out because we're looking for 4 to 20 milliamps. Over here, we see that we can go from the I out to the positive over there, and then the negative can go to the PG, or the protective earth or negative, whichever you prefer to call it. All right, uh, there's more data sheets on those ones as well, but that's as straightforward as these connections are. We have now taken all of our PLC, we were able to go and run my 0 to 10 volt output out of this one. By the way, this set over here, this is analog inputs that are 0 to 10 volt is still available using these cartridges does not block that out. So if you had some inputs, you could be taking your inputs into there and then running your outputs out of these cards like that. All right, that's the end of this one.